Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here, and this is Trading Pure Profits, episode 11, I do believe. What I'm going to say now is for changing this series, guys, it's now going to be called Road to Informed Analino, basically because I really want him, and I want this series to have an ending, so Trading Pure Profits was basically just us trading our way to see how many coins we could get, and then just end it on a high, basically, but I want to have an end product, so we're going to say Informed Analino is going to be our target, but he is a high target, guys. This trading series will go on for quite some time, probably take me... A quite a while to get here because as you can see we've got two here 850k and 800k ish 799 but hopefully it's going to come down in price as we trade along but we're at, we're at 111k i should say with a couple of players already sold from the last episode which you might not have seen we have cc gone for 3.6 Henri went for seven he's probably gone up in price now i'm not too sure snodgrass went for 1.4 and Beshi went for 1.9 henley's dropped in price we'll probably make a loss on him but that's no biggie just try and get him sold. So yeah, Informed Analino is going to be the target now, guys. Just let me know what you think about that in the comments. It's still going to obviously be the trading pure profits. We're still making profits on each player. There's no, like, we haven't started with a set amount. We're going to carry on straight from the 111,000 coins, though. So hopefully we can get a decent episode here. Get up into, like, the 150k mark. That'll be a very nice little booster for us. So I'll go out and buy some players now, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back and as you can see we have spent all of our coins apart from 347 and we have gone crazy on the Bermudez is is Here we have one I bought for 3,900 in the centre forward position quite decent formation, not the best, but that one's playing for Atlante or something and we've got a newly transferred one down there you've also been upgraded to a 74 but his stats haven't changed at all which is rather strange let's have a look what else we've got here Alaba like to use Alaba 1300 coins not too bad Delfonso newly transferred to Leicester for 22,000 and a horrible formation but he's the cheapest by quite some bit we've got a Josh McCreckran the Chelsea version in centre forward to 1500 here's that Transfer Bermudez, one of them anyway. 6k this one was. He now plays for America or America or whatever or something like that in the Mexican League. As you can see, his stats haven't changed at all. I'm not too sure where that is. You can see there, like 88, 88, 65, 65, 69. Exactly the same. He's gone up a level, so not too sure where that is. We've got another Bermudez here, 4k. That's the 73 version. The Maynard cost us 1k. His price has dropped from last episode. I did think I sort of like 7k or something. We won't be getting that for him, but I think we can go over a K for him. Another Bermudez, 6.5K. That is the transferred one in centre forward position. Also got this guy who's downgraded. Nemeth used to play for Liverpool, I do believe. He did play for Olympiacos, got moved to this club. He was a silver, downgraded to a bronze. I thought that was quite funny. So I picked him up for 100 coins. Hopefully we can make a K on here. We've also got a Fleepy Contino. 18,500 in centre forward. Not too bad at all. This guy's actually really, really good. I'm not too sure if he's... Uh, Michel Bastos, his brother or something like that. He kind of looks like him a little bit if you look at him. Yeah, he's called Flippy Bastos. Anyway, um, he's really, really good player. Look at them solid stats in his car. I do believe Josh Flip said something about him in a tweet a while ago. But I picked him up for 4.3k. He's an upgraded card as well. Beshio here. This is a bargain. 500 coins, guys. Could not say no at all. Newly transferred Miyachi. Whatever you want to call him. The Arsenal player. Nowly. Nowly? Newly on loan to Bolton. 16k, not bad at all. He also picked up a Mangala for 4k. He was a bastard to buy. Nearly got one for cheaper, but got bid his last second. 500 coins got us a dickhead house in. Uh, Oxay Chamberlain, right mid, 41212, 19,500, not too bad at all. And just picked up a Westwood for 550 coins to finish things off. We've still got the bugger in Henley, won't even sell for a loss, so we're not too sure what we're going to do on him. Just get rid of him as soon as we can. So I'm going to put these all up now, guys, and hopefully they sell overnight because else the prices might drop, etc. And hopefully we'll get to around 130k ish. I don't think we're going to get the 150 because I haven't actually traded too well today. I've just tried it out with Bermudez, is, and we'll see how things go. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back and as you can see we have 131,000 coins, which means we've made about a 20k profit on this episode. Which isn't amazing, but it isn't bad at all considering what we had. We sold one of the Bermudezes for 4.2k, Alaba sold for 1.9, uh, Delfonso sold for 26,500, 2,400 for the McCreckran, another Bermudez there, sold for 6,400 and has been resold for 3,300, so I don't know what the hell that guy was thinking. 4,300 for that what Bermudez there, another Bermudez, 8.8k. Uh, Nicky Maynard for 4k, a bit of resold for 1.6, a bit of a strange one, not too sure why these people are getting resold for cheaper. 
Um, Contino, I believe that is. 22,750. Flippy Bastards, 4,500. Uh, 3k for the best show, and resale for 300 coins, absolutely terrible. 20k for Miyachi, not too bad. Mangala, 5.6k, quite nice. Halston for 700 coins. Henley for 950, been resale for 1.3k, bit of a piss take, but there you go. Mignolet, oh shit, I'm sorry, Westwood, 850 coins, I wish that was Mignolet. Um, Oxley Chamberlain, 21,000, we sold them for, but we've been resold for 21,500. And we've got Nemeth still to sell, hopefully he'll go for that, which means we're looking at around 30, 132k if he goes, which is quite nice. We're looking to go into the market and spending it big next episode, so that's the end of this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with some more of these soon, so thank you very much, and bye.